Hey everyone, this is Awesome Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Now, I've been working on the membership website with WordPress, and then uh, I'm using a Fluent CRM plugin, and then uh, using a Jet Engine plugin to create a membership form. Now, I like to uh, sync data from users and then the CRM um, subscribers here. So that uh, uh, we created the um, the front end form so that the user can log in and like user can just update their their information now of course a uh, user has to log in first and as you see uh, he is registered as a user here all right now here is a uh, members dashboard i would say so there's no data here but here i created that's called update profile and now so you see the same form here the name and the phone number so they all match that right now so if i change address from crm here so let's say one two three four change the address and then hit update okay and then let's refresh this page now so you see that uh, one two three four it changed now let's say your organizations uh, maybe he switched a job and they're now working for different company you know let's say apple Okay, and then hit update. All right, now let's refresh this page. Now, so his organization changed to Apple. All right, so let me show you how this work. Okay, so let's dive in. All right, so first you have to create this form with Fluent CRM. And then uh, here, so if you go to, oh here, under here, forms. And I have created here, so member profile update. Okay, so let's go hit edit. Okay, so let me show that to you here. So just the first name, last name. So you can just grab from input field here, okay? Uh, and email, uh, phone number, uh, your organization and address to and the postal code and then countries, right? So this is basically, so just the grabbing from this information, right? So for example, like a birthday, I mean, you don't wanna change that one. Nobody wants to change a birthday. So that uh, then you don't really have to list it here. Okay, so this is just the profile and the information that you want allow subscriber to change it or, or member to change it. Okay, and the Fluent CRM allows you to uh, put the code here. Okay, so uh, this is a default uh, value. If you go to let's say first name, and then uh, here's like default value. So you can, uh, uh, I think you can just create pick. Um, uh, user first name here okay and then uh, so for example um, yeah like phone same thing go to advance I think and then here I think you can pick the I don't remember where I got it from and then uh, so I think here yeah, like fluent CRM data so the thing is so you can put the fluent CRM dot so that's the data group and then phone that's the um, uh, property right so it's like the rest of the same, okay, okay, right here. So this means that uh, when member log in, because he's a user here, so it's automatically, uh, it shows up here, right? So she, I mean, he does, you know, you don't wanna see that in a blank uh, field, okay? So it's already pre, uh, pre done, okay? So, so this is kind of important that you should put that, those code, okay? So make sure you hit the save form button, and now let's uh, move on to, um, let's talk about the automation. Now, so let's go back to uh, CRM. And the here is automations. I have already created the subscriber information update here, but uh, let's just uh, show you which one you need to pick. Now go to CRM here, and the new form submission uh, with Fluent Form. So you, this is what you wanna pick, okay? And hit continue. Oh, sorry, you need to put the label. Okay, whatever that is, and then hit continue, okay? And then now, so let me just go back to what I have already created, okay? Now let's just close that, and then go to automation, and here is a subscriber information update. Okay. So it's very simple step. So first one is, so this is a trigger, and then I just uh, create a subscriber information update, and then, uh, so which form? So this is the form I just created, all right? And pick that. And here, so based on the form, 
uh, you just need to map it out. So first name, last name, and an email. And uh, they are all drop down. So you just pick that. So all the uh, fields uh, have to match that for it here, right? And then uh, subscribe uh, status is uh, subscribed. All right. And they run this uh, automation only once per contact. So uh, I think the default it was checked off, but uh, I don't want to check it because that uh, all the subscriber or member, so they want to update. If they want to update uh, more than once, uh, they can do that. So make sure um, this should be unchecked. Okay, hit save. And then the next step is that's the action. So just uh, end this funnel here. Okay, so that's it. And then hit just save. It's very simple. And the next step is uh, I use Jet Engine plugin to create a, a member's account or dashboard. Um, I'm not going to spend lots of time on this tutorial, but if you are interested, now Crockblock has uh, it's a great tutorial. Uh, actually, this was done by me. Uh, this is about 40 minutes video, and then uh, it tells you how to use a profile builder and then uh, create account dashboard. All right, so let me just go back to um, my dashboard, WordPress dashboard. So now you need, um, yeah, dashboard here. Yeah, you need a plugin, it's called Jet Engine. okay? Uh, if you are not really familiar with that, um, uh, this is their website. Um, yeah, basically you can create dynamic content, it's $43. Uh, also, they have some, uh, uh, resource here so they can actually build a membership um, platform too with jet engine uh, again it's uh, there's some limitations um, but uh, yeah this is I've, I've been playing with now so let's go back so again so I you need uh, jet engine and go to uh, jet engine and then uh, oh, first uh, you have to uh, enable this profile builder module and then go to a uh, profile builder and this one is pretty much account, um, how to create account page. And here is uh, account page. So I got the main page and then uh, right here. So I have, it's called an update profile. Okay. So now I use Elementor. Now let's go to, um, oh, template, sorry. And save template. And I have update profile. So let's open up with Elementor here. So now this part, so this is just profile menu uh, with the jet engine. And right here, I just use a short code widget. Okay, so if you go to um, short code widget, okay. And then the short code is, uh, let's go to uh, form and the member update, uh, profile update. So this is, is uh, fluent form. Um, a code you just copy that and then paste onto this part okay so that's it and hit apply and say save okay so that's how I did it pretty much all right so let's uh, check out the results so let's change uh, some information here so I'm gonna just uh, put the uh, you know one two three one two three one two three four and then let's change the company now I'm working for Google and then, uh, so let's say he moved somewhere, different place. So one, 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 you know, uh, Howard Park Street, okay. And then move to uh, Montreal, and it's gonna be uh, uh, Quebec States. Oh, sorry, that states. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, this has to be yeah. States is uh, Quebec, and then uh, postal code is uh, just uh, put something here. All right, and then hit update. Now let's check it out and then let's refresh. All right, so now it changed to Owl Park and then Montreal, Quebec. Oops, oh, I gotta, I gotta change that. Maybe I didn't change it. Oh, you know, maybe I didn't map this out, uh, probably. So uh, let's check. Uh, maybe the automation, check the automation here. Oh, here, okay, so I made a mistake here. So states, the postal code should be a uh, postal code. So that's a mistake. Actually, let's fix it right away. Uh, there's no reason 
for me to wait so post the code so that's easy fix okay and then let's do it changed now so let's do this again all right so let's change that and hit update and then let's refresh all right it's got changed okay okay so i hope uh this helps and i'll see you next time